We recently tried Tesla's Summon feature, which lets the car park or pull up to you without anyone driving it. It's a convenient feature for the electric Model S, making it easier to put the wide car into tight parking spaces. But we found that the car could keep moving if you dropped the key or closed the app, both of which operated Summon. While the Model S has sensors, it failed to stop for items including a bike and a duffel bag. Consumer Reports has long advocated for dead man switches. With Summon, that would mean you would have to hold your finger on the app or key fob for the car to keep moving. Remove it, and the car would stop. The Model S in Summon mode moves at very slow speeds, so we considered it a relatively minor safety issue. We contacted Tesla and described the issue. Tesla's solution was to update its software, something it sends to its cars wirelessly. Once Tesla did that, we evaluated the fix with our Model S PD5D. The app now acts like a dead man switch. Take your finger off it, and the car stops almost immediately. The key fob no longer works with Summon in the feature's default mode. But you can go through a series of menus in the car to enable the key fob. We don't recommend doing this because the key fob's functionality doesn't allow it to work as a dead man switch. It's encouraging to see a car company make a safety fix wirelessly. But Summon also shows how important it is to make sure software is as safe as possible before it rolls it out to drivers. For more, check out consumerreports.org.